Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub. In this tutorial, I will explain like uh, how Selector Sub generate the relative XPath and CSS selector and what are the preferences it uses behind the scene, like uh, for attributes, which attribute it uh, gives the priority first, as well as for the text. And I really thanks to uh, Pallavi Sarma who encouraged and asked this question that Sanjay what are they like uh, how it generates uh, selectors x path behind the scene and what are the preferences because many a times we users think like why it has taken placeholder why it has not taken title so what are the preferences so thanks to Pallavi for asking this question and encouraging me to write a blog on and make a video on this so guys if you have any other question anything related to selectors serve or xpath or selectors feel free to reach out to me and ask me like uh, for those questions which you have and which you might not be aware about any of the concepts of selectors serve or locators so i will be helping you and creating the video or uh, like anything which in any form i could share my knowledge and help you that would be really good <clears throat> so what are the preferences for attributes so suppose if uh, there are like uh, text is there uh, placeholder is there name attribute is there everything is there then in that case what is the very first thing which selectors will choose like for an example for this field name is there type is there class is there placeholder is there so which is the attribute first selectors will take okay so the very first preference so here if you see that this is the order of attributes and text which selectors of follows so the very first uh, preference it will give it to the user attribute if you have passed any attribute so let's open selectors up now here so you see that there is an attribute enter attribute name field is here so if suppose you have entered any attribute name attribute here then that will be the very first preference for selector sub it will not consider any other attribute it will give you give the preference to your attribute whatever you have passed if you haven't passed anything here over here then placeholder is the very first preference so if you see here selector sub is generating x path for this element giving the first preference to placeholder though there is name type class other attributes are there but it has given it to placeholder why because selectors have considered placeholder as on top priority then title then name then value then area label so likewise all these attribute and at last if it doesn't found didn't found find the uh, unique attribute uh, unique x path with the attributes available and if text as well available then it goes for text as well so see here so likewise if you see here placeholder it has given first choice to placeholder but it didn't find unique uh, x path with placeholder then it goes for parent element and then it's generating with that so that's a different thing now suppose if you doesn't want with plus uh, placeholder and we if you want to test like whether it gives you uh, gives the user attribute first priority or not then pass here let's say we'll pass the name attribute here name and press enter you see that it is giving the first priority your to user attribute which we have passed so that is the region that it is generating with name so that is the first priority okay this you can remove anytime press enter again and then it will go with the whatever available with the default attribute choice same more example you can see here if other attributes are there let's say like here class just accent name type lots of attributes are there so which one it will it, should, it will take the first one so let's see here title is the next one and then name so here it should take the title and if it will not find the unique x, x path with that attribute which is there in the preference then it will go for the second attribute like name okay first it will come with this preference if that will not come if with that attribute it will not find unique then it will uh, again loop through and it will check for the other attribute let's say here if title is there okay title is there like title search is there if it will not find with title search unique xpath it will if it will not find with this one then it will go for other attribute 
let's open select reserve here so you see that it's generating with title that means title is unique so it has gone with that one let's inspect some other element here name so you see that name value type this and there's lots of things are there so as name is there then it's, that is the reason that it is generating with that if name will not be there then it will go with uh, some other attribute like area label or value so if you want to test that let's do that let me edit the html and let's say we'll remove this name attribute now name attribute is not there then what it will take it should take value so it is taking value if value will not be there then it will go with area label so that is the like whatever preference is here it will follow that one suppose uh, it didn't find the unique xpath with any of these preferences then what it will take then it will uh, for uh, what kind of attribute it will go or whether it will go for the text one so that we will see uh, let's see here so here we, we can see that h3 class is there and let's open if with that attribute it will not find unique so here you can see that the class attribute is finding five matching not for so for this this class is there five times so that is the region you see that it is not generating with class it is generating with text so this is normalized space is equal to select reserve it is choosing that one so text is the last preference if it will not find unique xpath with any of these attributes then it consider text if text will be available there so this is how it generates the uh, xpath as well as css selector uh, on the preferences of and this is the order basically this is the priority order which it the selectors of follows for while generating the selectors so you can test it uh, uh, test it out uh, and see it will work in this fashion and if anywhere you found any issue or if you get any doubt feel free to reach out to me and uh, of course uh, you must be seeing that css selector is not generating with text yes because css selector doesn't support the text so that is the uh, like some of uh, one of the like major difference between xpath and css selector so yes css selector you can't generate with text if anything you doesn't want like with uh, to generate with text or any of the attribute here that you can just keep any time unchecked and it will keep generating according to your preferences and if you want to generate with any of the attribute which you want to give as a preference that you can pass it over here but again it will uh, consider that if any of the attribute which you have passed or which you have chosen as a priority if it will not find unique with that then it will go for some other choices as per this order same order so this is the stand, uh, order and priority which selectors are follows while generating selectors and xpath hope uh, this information will help you uh, while generating and getting xpath from selectors hub and selectors Please feel free to let me know like if you have any doubt or anything or any uh, feature which you are not able to understand and do let me know i will create a video and blog on that which will help you please like share uh, comment in this video also subscribe to the channel because uh, i will be keep coming up with uh, such videos and more innovation and lots of amazing feature are coming in selectors up so stay tuned guys with that thank you thank you so much